Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to Iron Mind Blocks. So a brand new video for you today, and I'm sorry it's been a while since I've been doing these uh, videos, but trying to get back into it again. So today's video is gonna be how to mine Monero using Random X algorithm on your Windows PC with a Intel or AMD based CPU. So this is a CPU uh, mining video for you guys. So let's get started. Okay, so let's jump into it. We're obviously on our Windows uh, desktop here and I'll be taking you through all the steps showing you how to mine Monero on your Windows based uh, PC. So first thing you need to do is open up your browser. I'm using the Brave browser. Uh, by the way, it's a really good browser. You can get the link in the video description if you want to block adverts. It's got better security and also privacy. Um, check out the link in the video description if you wanna get started with the Brave browser. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do is go and download the XMRig miner. So this is um, a very popular CPU miner. It's been around for a long time, lots of updates, and it, you can download it from the official source, or you can also download it using the link in the video description. If you use my link, basically I'll include sample config files and it'll be, be a little bit easier for you to get set up. But if you wanna download it from the official source, uh, you can also do that as well. So the website is github.com forward slash XMRig forward slash XMRig. And then you want to go to releases. So the latest version currently on the 30th of March is, is 5.10.0 version. So you want to scroll down a little bit and then you can download. I'm using this GCC uh, Windows 64 version. So download that zip file and obviously that will go to your downloads folder. And then you want to extract it so I've already done that and I put it in this uh, folder here but for you guys just use WinZip or WinRAR right click and extract and then you'll get a folder that looks like this the only difference between mine and yours is that I've got these other sample configuration files and I've just copied and pasted them in but what I'll show you is um, how you can make your own configuration file for starting up the miner and obviously getting started with Monero I'll come back to that in just a second um, so if you haven't got a, Win, uh, a Monero address um, already, a Monero wallet address, you can mine um, to an exchange, but it's probably better to mine to your own wallet address. Uh, one of the easiest ways to do it is to use uh, mymonero.com. You can either download their Light Client, which is a simple wallet that you download to your desktop machine, or you can use like uh, a web wallet, which is what this is here. So it's wallet.monero.com. And from here, you can create a new web-based wallet. So what it will do is it will create an address and a seed phrase for you. You can manually write those down on pen and paper, keep them somewhere safe and private. And then you can mine to those uh, using those details. And of course, you can set up a proper wallet a bit later on. Um, I've already done that, but for you guys, like I said, you've got that address just up there. And then it's as simple as creating a new, new wallet and then writing down the details with a pen and paper. Once you've done that, then you're basically ready to start uh, mining. So if you go back to the folder where we've um, extracted the XM rig, so in here I've already got some uh, command configuration files. So I should I'll show you how those uh, look and help you build your own configuration file. So what we're going to be using is something called like an inline configuration. So we're not going to be using the config.json file. We're going to use basically it's like a one line command, but we've got it in a, um, a command or a batch file that will help you um, get started with it. So for you guys, uh, like I say, if you don't have this um, config file already there, if you haven't used my link, I'll show you how to create like a brand new file. So you want to uh, right click and then go to new, and then you want a text document. Make sure it's text document, not rich text. And call it start. And you don't want a .txt extension, it's okay. So now you've got this file here, and then you want it to go to open it with Notepad. If you use my command uh, configuration, it'll be much easier for you. I'll show you how that works. So you guys are gonna have to type this out or copy and paste it. Um, I'll put these links in the description as well, so you can just copy and paste and create your own um, command file. So the first part is echo off. You don't really need that to be honest. Um, but the next part is xmrig.exe. So that's gonna call up the miner, the mining program that you're gonna be using. Then we've got a space, then it's hyphen hyphen donate level is one. That's a, a mining donation. So it's built into the miner. The minimum uh, amount that you can have is 1%. Um, and that's, that's low, so it goes between one and 5%. So I've got it set to one. The next part is 
hyphen O, and then the pool that you're going to be mining to. So the cool thing about Monero uh, pools is you generally don't need an account or any registration with the pools. You can mine directly to them just using your Monero address. The only thing you have to bear in mind is um, that the payout is going to be automatic, so you can't like log in and request a manual payout quite often. Um, so just make sure the, the address that you're mining to is your address and it's accessible. So we're going to be using XMR pool and the port that we're going to be using is all the fives. I think that's uh, for a mid-range uh, CPU, so that'll probably be suitable for you guys as well. And then we've got dash U, so for our username. So our username is our Monero address, which is the one that you would have created uh, either from your exchange or uh, mymonero.com. And then we've got a space again and then dash P. And then here we've got W equals I5-6600. So the P part is you can either have it as just X or you can have it as like a worker nickname. Check with the pool that you're mining to and it will be some kind of configuration that looks a little bit like this. So in this case, it helps me to identify uh, the CPU or the rig that I'm mining on. Um, but check with the pool. It might be a slightly different configuration on the pool that you're mining to. Uh, the next part, this is important. Um, it says that the algo that you're mining with, so it's random x slash zero you need to use that algorithm otherwise you'll get invalid shares and you won't you won't get any real rewards and uh, the next part is dash t this is how many cpu cores or threads that you're going to be using um, i've got it set to three here but i'm going to change it to one um, because i'm obviously using the, the screen recorder at the same time so i don't want it to interfere or cause lag or any conflicts with that and then the last line we've got uh, pause so it just means that if the miner crashes the window will remain open and you'll be able to see the error um, which makes it a little bit easier for troubleshooting. So once you've done that, you want to go to File and you want to go to Save As. And then here, change it from where it says Save As File Type, change that to All Files. And then you can change it as a .dot uh, .command file or a .dot .pat file, it doesn't really matter um, either which one to be honest. And then go to Save. We can close that now. So you can see that's the kind of a dummy file, close that one. And then this is our new command file here. So I just open it up and just go to edit again, just to show you what it looks like. That's great. And then we've got to start Monero. So now we can start the command line. So let's start the miner and I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see here, we've got huge pages. Uh, it tells us our CPU. So it's an i5-6600, um, slightly overclocked to like just under four gigahertz nothing particularly special um, and that's it basically it will start mining so this other part here is this um, MSR uh, registered registers sorry um, it says administration privileges are required and um, that shouldn't make any difference on your speed um, but if it does what you can change it it's really simple to change it I'll show you how to do that um, if you go to XM rig and go to uh, properties go to compatibility and then turn on run as an administrator and then click apply and okay. Then close and restart the miner and it will basically start with admin privileges. Um, but from my testing, I don't think it makes any difference to your performance, so you shouldn't need to worry about that. So I'll just leave that going uh, just in the background and I will show you um, some mining benchmarks and also your expected uh, profitability. So we go back to Brave Browser uh, again. And then this website here, monerobenchmarks.info is really good. Um, there's lots of different benchmarks um, on here for pretty much every single CPU that you could imagine. So you open it up and then you just search for whatever you're looking for. So if we say 6600K, it will show us all the benchmarks that people have posted for i5 6600s and also the configuration that they've been using as well. Sometimes they have their um, wattages so you can get an idea if you've got a CPU what your performance and your wattage might, might be like before you sort of jump into this. So it's quite good as a reference. It can also indicate, you know, if you're mining and you're getting one performance, you can compare it to this to see it where it's roughly what you're expecting as well. So it's pretty good. So you can see here with a i5-6600, yeah, I normally get about 2K, something like that. Um, maybe a little bit faster than that, actually. Um, so that's a really good reference. The next part is uh, what to mine. So if you've got those performance figures, you can go to what to mine. Dot com uh, the random X box type in your performance so if we say 2000 like we've already got here and the TDP or the wattage of your CPU um, I think I'm not actually 100% sure I think it's about 100 maybe a little bit less and then you go to calculate obviously into your power cost 
pick a little hour, go to calculate. And then you can see Monero comes up at the top there. Revenue is about nine cents a day, but we're gonna lose money on electricity costs. So this, in my particular instance, the electricity costs would not be worth it, but if you've got cheap electricity, then maybe it would, or if you've got free electricity, or you just wanna warm your room up, or you just wanna experiment, then it might be ideal. Um, but on this particular date and time, it's not profitable um, for me to do it, but it might be different for you, uh, particularly if you have a uh, AMD Ryzen uh, processor. So if you've got like 17, 2700, or even the new 3700s, or if you've got any of the Threadripper processors, the new ones, um, you'll be getting much, much better performance. You can see um, some of these, I think it's like the 3950X. Um, yeah, they're getting like 19,000 and their CPU, uh, the, the TDP, the, the power usage is really low as well. I think they use like 130 watts. Um, so just as an example, if you've got a Ryzen 9 uh, 3950X, which would be great to have. Unfortunately, I don't have one. And I think the TDP was 130, let's see. So let's just have a look, um, see how that comes out. Yeah, so you can see there, they're making 88 cents and 57 cents profit per day with that CPU. So um, quite a big difference there, depending on what CPU you've got. Uh, let's just minimize that. We'll see how our miners getting on. Okay, so that's been running and you can see these accepted shares. That's what you always want to be looking for. So you've got the speed on 10 seconds, 60 seconds and 15 minute averages. So you can see on one thread, it's coming just under 500 slightly above on the max or the peak output. So with four threads, yeah, we're looking at about 2000 hashes per second on this CPU. And that's it, just leave the mine running, check on the accepted shares and you can go from there. Uh, one other point, just very quickly, almost forgot, is if you want to check your stats, if you go to the XMR pool, and then you want to paste your um, Monero address. So look, uh, I think we go to, where is it? Oh, there, here, here it is. Uh, paste your Monero address, make sure you don't have the space at the end and then look up. Obviously after it's been mining for a while, uh, you'll see that your hash rate starts picking up and you should see that in the miner and the pool hash rate um, are basically become um, the, the, the same value. That's what you want to be looking for. Uh, and then you've got like your pending balances, uh, amount paid out, etc., all that sort of stuff. Um, so that's the, the mining uh, pool dashboard. You just enter your, your address on there and that's um, you up and running. Um, okay, so I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, as always, if you've got any questions or comments, you get stuck or I can't do it, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to try and um, help you out best I can. And um, if you like this type of content, be sure to give it a like and uh, subscribe to my videos. I put out content like this on a semi-regular basis and uh, hopefully you found this video uh, useful. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time today and um, that's it for now. I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya.